Guys, it's up to you now. Really, you uh, carry these per pride, I think, in the next few weeks. And uh, a couple of sayings we have that uh, all of those holders would have had people come and see us. And one of them, it's from a guy, um, he says it's the Beechworth Bakery, which God knows where that is, somewhere in Victoria. I think now Kelly might have gone through there once. <laughs> not sure or why they would have. But uh, it's about a thousand people and he's built this business up that's absolutely enormous. He's a multi-millionaire. He had 1,200 people there and he had a bakery. And if you saw his turnover, and this guy now has turned to a mentor. And he's a great guy. And he's got a couple of um, very, very, very uh, good sayings that we use in our business life. And the first one, if it's to be, it's up to me. It's something you want to write on your wall tonight, maybe, at the bottom of your bed. If it's to be, it's up to me. If you've got a premiership there, you prove today you can beat the best side in the competition. If it's to be, it's up to me. That's not individual. We've got to create that into a team environment. So one of the coaches, probably Chris is dying, isn't across. Never going to run out there and do it. But it is in your hands. The other thing he says is uh, look in the mirror, not out the window. And maybe all we can do as a club over the coming months is look in the mirror and not out the window. Look in there and let's be honest. And I think there's sort of some of the principles I want to take this club forward with. It is a great club. I appreciate everyone being here. I don't sort of uh, look at the wooden spoon as anything but a challenge. It's there. It's real. We can't change that result until next year. We've got to live with that. The one thing I do know is this club will come through. In 1999, <coughs> we finished bottom as far as I was concerned. The only team that finished under us in 1999 was the Peel Football Club. And I actually didn't count them as a club because we're the traditional eight clubs. I think we won four games. We won the last game against Claremont. Some of you will remember that. I think we beat Peel twice and Perth once. And that was our year. The following year we went on because we believed, we restructured, and we believed. The player group has to do it. And funnily enough, that year, the Reggies, I think, got into the first semi and got knocked out. The Colts got in on the last game of the year in 2000 from West Perth. I think they beat them, got in on percentage and went on to win a grand final and the league was the first final of three to come. So guys, it's up to you. Look in the mirror over the coming months, not out the window. Where can we be? If it's to be, it's up to me. If you want to play league football next year, it's up to you. It's not up to me, it's not up to Glenn, it's not up to Ray Barrett, it's not up to Chris Jerome. Guys like Mark, Huck, Mark Hutchinson coming through. If it's to be, it's up to me. So guys, that's what I challenge you with. To the Colts, what I will challenge the league guys to do, the reserves guys, let's be a force when the boys are playing. Let's all be down there. Let's be supporting them. Let's be around the huddles. Let's make this our prime aim in the next few weeks. These Colts guys, boys deserve it. So let's, as a club, support the Colts. Thanks very much for everyone coming back. Thank you. 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 Thank